This is strange, I got a cop that just parked right so they can view me from behind. That's weird. So I got my hood up and I got these cops sitting over here. Let's see what they do. All right, it's been maybe uh, five minutes and they haven't really done anything. Just kind of sitting there. They're not seeing me do like step outside in front of the car or anything. I've just been sitting here though. All right, look at that, they took off. One's driving back there. And they didn't uh, approach me about my hood being up for some reason. What's the deal with that? It looks like he's let somebody out. That's weird. So, it's about uh, 1, 1 p.m. And this cop rolls into this carnival parking lot and he had some guy and now he's out. It's like he dropped him off or something and took something, zipped it into his bag and leaving everything open. Oh, is that another guy? Oh, okay, it's the same dude. So... Oh, he took something else. What is that? A needle? So they, they, uh, he's collecting more stuff after he let the guy out. He, he's collecting more stuff. So what's the deal with that? <clears throat> That's weird. And now they're just kind of hanging out like buddies. <laughs> Isn't that something? Hanging out like buddies. Like they just came out here to catch up on old times or something. They're both young, okay. But this guy's a, this is a canine. You can see canine. So he's active with that. They haven't looked over to see me yet. I'm pretty obvious, but I am zooming in too. So whatever he's got in here, he's got Windex, gloves, a water bottle right in the center, a tub full of something 25, like a 25 gallon. That's the cage for the dog. What is that, a spotlight right in the center there? It's got, I think those are lights to the right of that circle thing. Maybe lights that'll go off and then he's got his bag on a carabiner which is attached to a, a bungee cord that's gonna that's gonna cover up your your rear view oh he's got lights on both sides okay so lights there and lights there internal okay so not just the overhead lights but also the internal internal lights. Now he's on his phone while that guy's smoking a cigarette. Just kind of hanging out like they're buddies. Oh, it's a fire hydrant behind the cop. That's a fire hydrant. So, that was kind of difficult. He, he has, uh, like, a belt with various stuff. He's missing something, though, next to his flashlight. Right on the very hip, he's missing something. So what's the deal here? Is that guy still in handcuffs? He's got front handcuffs on. He's got some some kind of uh, tattoos on him. So what's the deal? He's, he's got this guy in handcuffs and he's driving him around. Front handcuffs, which is um, it's kind of dangerous for the cop to do that. Is that recommended? Because when they when I usually see people with front handcuffs, they'll have something on their ankles too. And I don't see that here. Okay, he's just only got front handcuffs, which is which is interesting. He's that little of a threat. I wouldn't trust the guy. Look at that. He's got a tattoo on his hand. Okay, do you trust that? This is strange. What a strange interaction. In Coke Hill, where the cops are friends with the with the criminals, have strange relationships with the criminals 
I would say. So he cuff grabs his uh, water bottle. Okay. Turning his back completely to me. Oh, he's he's giving the, the criminal his, his water. Wow. So generous. <laughs> what is going on? This this is strange. Parking right here. So strange. You know, I think I'd like to know who this cop is. A canine? Because this is a strange interaction. Both their backs are turned to me. And they're just not paying me any attention. I suppose, you know, there's nothing over this way anyway. Alright, well, I don't know, they're just going to sit here. I'll, I'll pick it up if they... I'll make commentary if they do anything interesting. <laughs> I guess. So he closes the lid. The cigarette is done. Okay, this is getting interesting. What does that say? Dak? So you look up Dak. What a strange interaction here. Cops and robbers. You know, canines, canine people tend to seem to be nice nicer people because they work with their dogs but I did get arrested by that in Horseshoe Bend by a, a canine guy and he was not so nice I'd expect dog trainers to treat people like dogs but it's, it's hard to say his hat his hat's a little is on a little like screwy I don't know what to think of this. Okay, I'll pick it up later here. Alright, and they're just taking off. So they probably stayed here about 20, 15 minutes.